I said, oh, Lord Jesus, it's a fire. My name is Eric Devine, and welcome to another episode of Divine Way TV. Today, my brother and I have Robert Crown of Crown Adjusting. You talking to me? Just behind the camera there is a fourplex that we owned, and in 2014, we had a huge fire. And my brother and I didn't know what to do. We were still trying to sort through the insurance and what our damages were and how much we were gonna get. Uh, Farmers Insurance had a wonderful adjuster, great customer service, came out and said, here you go, Divine Brothers, here's a check for nearly $300,000. And Robert Crown here said, I, so what'd you say? I said, ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time, ain't nobody got time, ain't nobody got time for that. I said, that's, you can accept that check, put it in the bank and accept it, and we can see how much the claim may actually be worth because $300,000 was simply a down payment on an undetermined amount of money under the claim. So um, public adjusters represent policyholders, and it would be my job uh, to help you get the balance of what is owed. So that 300 grand ended up being, do you recall, ballpark figure? Well, I think we came close to doubling it, but I, it was quite a while ago. But generally speaking, when an insurance company makes you a quick offer, that's all it is, is an initial determination of what they owe, and then they leave it to you as a consumer to determine the rest. And so you're dealing with contractors and insurance adjusters, and it's, uh, it's very confusing for someone that's never been through it before. Greg, do you remember how stressed out we were when we had this fire here? Yes. And, uh, Mr. Crown came around and were you apprehensive about working with him? Any thoughts or feelings that you had before signing on the dotted line? Not at all. Well, actually, we go way back. Mm -hmm. So what I did learn is the, the foundation, the upgrades. I was just thinking wood, plaster, drywall, everything had to be upgraded to, to current code. And I didn't even know the, the, the cost of that and you pretty much got us that money absolutely okay let's just say day one owners experience a fire what would be three key things you'd want to tell that homeowner uh, while they're in that panic state stress state to give the insurance company a chance to see the loss before you start doing things to make sure that you don't do uh, something that might be damaging to your claim going forward because you either removed evidence or you have uh, elected to make changes to the environment so the insurance company can't really see it as it is. And then who you use to do the work and how that money is spent becomes part of the repair for you to mm -hmm. determine. Crown adjusting is not for every fire damaged property. You always assess the, uh, the amount of insurance, you assess the damage, and you make sure you're a good fit before you just uh, hop on with a client, correct? Yes, if somebody has a catastrophic loss, the first thing I do in every situation is determine what the outer envelope of their coverage is with code upgrades, with extended replacement, because there has to be room for somebody in my profession to earn their fee. And if I'm, if I'm hired just to simply deal with the insurance headache and I know going in that I might cost my client money, I'll tell them so because uh, you, know, you get approached after a, a catastrophic loss by a lot of strangers, you don't know who they are, and they'll be very quick to put a piece of paper in front of you, say sign on the dotted line. That is problematic. Mm -hmm. So you have to do your homework really well. So here we are, Robert. This is where we had the fire back in 2014. It was a fourplex. The fire occurred on, what would you call it? Not, not a basement, but the ground level? Ground level. Ground level. We went up two floors. I think we, I think it took out, uh, I think three of, the, three of the units were directly affected. Yes, three of the different. And one of our tenants actually, because we owned the building across the street, was able to move right across the street. So that was very helpful. Well, we hope you enjoyed today's episode with Crown Adjusting and learned that if you have an emergency at your property, there are some professionals out there that you can reach out to to really provide some value to your insurance claim. Anything else you'd like to wrap up here? I would just say that for any folks that suffer a loss that they really don't know where to turn, 
the most important thing is to get information. You shouldn't feel hassled or, or hustled into signing with a public adjuster because you don't know that you really need one. And there are plenty of folks out there that would spend the time with you to educate you who are more interested in your well-being than making a buck. And those are probably the people you should talk to first. Um, there is professional help out there. Public adjuster is not right for everyone. And, uh, you know, I, I like to be the last person you meet professionally, but God forbid you have a loss, I think I'd be a great person to consult with. Ding! I agree, I smash the like button on that one. Great, right, great. So, Do you have a question? So step one is stay out of your building. Don't don't tamper don't, with the evidence. Don't tamper with the evidence. And call a professional. Yeah. Crown Consulting <laughs> is a professional in this state. It's actually Crown Adjusting. God damn it! <laughs> if the the name of the game is education and contacts, the more people that know how to deal with these types of situations, whether they're real estate owners or tenants or anyone that is looking for a way to get properly educated, you're providing a great resource. Well, thank you very much. All right, cut and print. Beautiful guys. Dynamite. That is...